So guys, as I'm sat in my car of day three of the rain, one, two, three, yeah, day three of the rain, of the bad, bad rain, the rain that never stops, never, ever, ever stops. <coughs> I've just sat on services, I've been sat here for an hour. I need to go up to the tent to see if it's still there, and if it's soaked, or if it's blown away, or what's happened to it. Because I've been away from it all yesterday and last night and today. I need to get a shower. Although I might not even do that. I might go into work tomorrow smelly. I've got baby wipes in here. I'll give myself a baby wipe wash. Actually, I have got the cooker and the kettle. And a bowl, so I can have a wash in the car, which is what I was doing before I found a tent anyway. But it's just the effort of sorting stuff out. I've lost all my energy. I've lost all my energies just waiting for the rain to stop. Just a break would have been nice. Now... It's interminable. It goes on forever and ever and ever. It's like rain torture. Oh, my head hurts and I want to sneeze all the time. I want to go to sleep. I'm exhausted. I'm exhausted from this. I didn't know anything could exhaust you so much. So, guess what guys, we've been sat in the rain all day thinking we were doing really well and we were contemplating where we were going to park up and sleep tonight. And all of a sudden, a great big drip dropped from the roof onto the laptop. Yep, we got a leak again. <sighs> I went into panic mode. I started driving one way and then driving another way and thinking, what should I do? Should I go under the motorway bridge? Should I go down to um, one of my favourite long hidden laybys and just put the sheet over like I've done before? And I remember how severely depressed I got from that. And I thought, you know what? I pay £10 a night and, and I haven't used it. This is like two nights now I've not used it. And um, I'm thinking, I'm going to go back to the campsite and I'm just going to go and park in their shed. And if they come out and see me and say anything, I'll just have to say, look, I'm really sorry, but the car's got a leak. I didn't know what else to do. I've just got to park inside here. The very stupid thing is, right now, driving towards the farm where I camp. There's very little let rain. You know, the windscreen wipers are actually stopped working because, well you know, not stopped working, but they're not wiping much intermittent because um, there is no rain. I'm still going to park in the shed because she needs to dry out. Even if I only park in the shed for an hour. Just get some more sleep in. Just have to buy some toilets. I've got my welly boots, I've got toilets. You know, what else can you do? I feel tired, I feel, you know, bunged up. <laughs> and I just want the rain to go away. I truly, truly do. Okay, guys, I'll uh, catch up with you later. So I'm parked in their warehouse. You know, their great big shed. I don't know if you could see it, but that's I'm in their shed. I'll show you the roof a bit. <laughs> no, that's outside the window. Yeah, there's the roof bit. Okay, so I'm in their shed. <laughs> 
and I'm trying to think what to do next. So I've sorted out my work clothes for tomorrow and my bed's made up in the back. The issue is, is the rain coming in on Lexi now because, you know, it's got, you can see it there, that's all damp, that's all come in there and it's come in down the side. It didn't come in until we moved, so I think a big puddle had built up. There's obviously, um, a, what you call it, a, a seal that's not working, that's damaged or something that needs to be repaired. Um, so <laughs> at least we know now. So, I've still got that roof cover now, depending on what I can do, and I don't know what I can do because it's not on the campsite, do you know what I mean? This, this shed is, it's got like, I've got this great big CCTV camera yellow sign right by me and I'm thinking, you know... <laughs> <laughs> what if they can watch me sleeping so I was thinking you know I could get in the back into sleep here tonight underneath the shed but it feels really weird it doesn't feel like private I know it's just weird it's how I am but it is pouring with rain out there so my options are are to drive onto the field and cover my um, Lexi up with the blue cover that I've got for the roof and then I just spend the night in there because the only other option is to drive somewhere like you know where I normally park up still have to cover Lex I might as well do that on the field here mightn't I and um, you know to get dark soon they won't notice really that there's a cover on and even if they do they probably won't care so I'll just cover her get in my work clothes ready for work wake up about I don't know four o'clock all i've got to do then in the car is oh what are you looking at we've got a human coming towards you there's a sheep <laughs> i've got someone coming talk to you later well that was lovely graham the host you know the guy who um and julie you know they run the farm so he said i'm welcome to stay under here so that's it i'll back down a bit because he says that there's a side bit that I can take that goes down by the shower as well, which is really cool. He says it's the time of the year. I suppose they're used to it. For me, it's been a shock. Three days. Rain. Gosh. This is the time of year. Huh. Oh well, that's really good news anyway. <laughs> I'll put my black shade up, they can't see in. I'll do that. Right. <laughs> so I'm going to go and back up and sit in the back, I think. Talk to you guys later. Okay, guys, so, so that's it. I've backed down into the shed. And apparently there's a side door that takes me down to the shower, so that's really good. So I'm going to stay here tonight. I'm going to get in the back with my computers and got everything that I need. Electricity is about to run out, but I've got enough to watch my videos and stuff, so that'll do. Yeah. That's good. Okay, so I will catch you tomorrow. Hopefully it will stop raining by then. Well guys, it's um, Thursday. Um, October the 20 something. <laughs> I never know the date, do I? I'm lazy. 28th I think it is. Is it? Is it? Is it? Uh, come on, diary, tell me. 28th of October, Thursday. And I was hoping that tonight all the rain would have gone away and that I would be moving into back into my tent. But not so. 
It's been raining all day, all day at work. I mean, non-stop rain all day. Um, and I had to be outside most of the day because Billy was in and he didn't want to go outside and he was doing McDonald's. And actually, he didn't do much else but McDonald's, so, you know, as long as he's happy, I don't care. Um, so Billy did McDonald's and I was outside most of the day. I could come in and do the toilets, which I did about every half hour of being outside. But it's been a long day, it's been very wet, everything's wet, everything's in the car, it's wet, the, the car itself is wet on the outside. However, I did try something on my way out this afternoon. What I did is I opened the sunroof and um, both bits and let the water trickle down into the gullies. And I've driven home. Can you hear my nose all blocked up here? Yeah, I've come down. Hang on a second, I'll talk to you now. So I've come down with this stupid cold cough. Bunged up head, bunged up nose. Tired. Not doing anything tonight. I was going to go and sit and do some internet stuff, but I've not. I've come straight back to the shed. Yeah, so I opened the sunroof and the both bits and the move some hair out of my eyes, annoy me. And um <coughs> Yeah and uh the water went down into the gullies and then um when I drove home no water has leaked anywhere so I think it's just a seal that's gone. And I think it's a seal round the window, not round the sunroof, really, somehow. Anyway, dry car, apart from the stuff that's gone in the back, like my great big yellow coat. And my trousers are soaking wet. I haven't got changed out of them yet. Um, so, uh, basically, I've just come back here, parked in the shed, got warmed up. I bought some food from co-op, so I've got some sandwiches and crisps for tonight and Coke. That'll do me for tonight. I bought some extra items to do, uh, put in my lunch bag for tomorrow. So that will get me through tomorrow and then tomorrow night. Oh, after that I've got two days off. I'm seeing Ed tomorrow because obviously I've handed my notice in. So he wants a little chat, so we'll have a little chat. I am going to be so politically correct, right, okay. I am not going to say anything about, you know, falling out with whoever and whatever I did and that. I'm just going to say, and it is the truth, really. I mean, it is the truth. It's just that I want to add some things on, like, who is an awful manager and he's got all these little minions following him, like, they all work together, um, trying to outsmart Ed, you know. They're just not good people. Anyway, all I'm going to say to Ed is that I need to move in to warmth for the winter. I mean, this has come to prove it, hasn't it? The rain has really got to me. It's got me down. It's got me um, a bit sick. I'm not really sick, you know, I'm down with this stupid cold, which slowed me down at work. You know, people could hear it, so they were sort of saying, are you all right? And I was going, yeah, I'm all right. I just got cold, you know. <coughs> I'll get over it. <coughs> uh, fortunately, it hasn't gone on my chest. I mean, I'm a pretty fit person. I just took... Uh, a good few vitamins yesterday and last night and today, so keep my body fit. Um, yeah, so I'm just quite tired, just really tired. My eyes ache. So I'm going to tell Ed that basically I need to move into the warmth for the winter. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to find a night time, you know, night work and sleep in the daytime. <laughs> I think that'll be a good good thing for, um, for the winter months, quite honestly. Uh... As long as I can stay awake during the, my, you know, working hours, because I'm not, don't like, I never used to be able to stay awake when I worked in care homes at night. You know, at three o'clock in the morning, I always wanted to curl up and go to sleep, so I'm going to have to deal with that. But I think if I get full-time work, and there's this, um, Indeed, Indeed are doing Indeed Flex, which seems to be all these different jobs that you can go and do for short term. And that sounds like a really good idea. And also, because they're like one of these, um, you know, companies that, you're not specific like road chef is specific um or motto is specific and and i could travel around doing working on various services but i, I don't want to do that now i well not at the moment so um yes yeah, so i'm just gonna 
apply to Flex indeed. Um, see if I can get onto their, you know, um, seasonal worker list and then go from there and try and get some work in. So I was going to do that today, but I'm so bunged up and it's so wet out there and I just wanted to get Lexi back undercover. I was really worried about her all day because I thought she might have got some leaks in, but no, she's bone dry, which is really good. I'm really happy about that. So I'm going to sit in the front of the car. I might fall asleep here for a few hours. I don't know. I'm not really asked. I'll go and check out my clothes for the morning, make sure they're all sorted. And then uh, I'll have some dinner in a little while. It's 4.30 and um, watch some videos and basically get in the bed and go to sleep get tomorrow over with righto gang talk to you soon oh so i there's one thing i want to say i don't know if any of you got any ideas but i want to say a big thank you to the farmers for looking after me and letting me use their shed sleep in their shed um and so uh my idea is to get them a christmas sort of uh, Christmas, you know, like a bunch of flowers, but in the style of Christmas, so a very big Christmassy um, bunch of whatever you get at Christmas, holly and ivy and probably white and green, just a big colour and that. Do you think that's a good idea to say thank you? I thought that might be nice. Um, if anybody else has got any other ideas of something nice, that would be a big thank you. You know, just let me know. Cheers, guys. Catch you soon.